Hello, uh, I'm going to quickly explain this guy here, uh, Chain Notifier Proxy Provider. Uh, and uh, it actually gave me a, a bit of a problem, so I just want to, you know, explain it, how it works. So it takes two arguments. One is the auth, which basically is the first provider that's going to be transferring it. And then the second parameter is where it's going to be transferred. So uh, the first argument is where the data is going to be coming from and the second argument is where the data is going to be going to. So these are two different classes basically where data is going to be transferred. Uh, now um, in the older version uh, there was a builder method but uh, now I'm using actually the provider origin number six. Let me show you if, I, if you see the provider version it's version six. Um, so in there, um, things have changed a little bit. Uh, so uh, in version 6, you basically need two functions, create and update. So both are needed. It's not like you can work with just one uh, function. You have to use both. Uh, the trick is that you have to use the constructor twice. Uh, so the first time you're going to use kind of uh, giving it a dummy arguments. And the second time when you are using the... <coughs> <clears throat> when you're using the update method, you're actually going to provide the correct uh, argument. So that's how it's going to be updated correctly. Uh, so let me show you around. Uh, so in the first create in the first function in the create method, you basically call the constructor, and in here uh, I'm passing uh, basically empty string, and I'm not passing null. I'm, I'm not passing null because there's a reason for that because I'm using the latest version of uh, Dart, which is using null safety. So to explain it, uh, in the previous version or in the original version, you can actually declare integer. Uh, and let's say um, this is an integer and it could actually take a value of one, two, three, but it could also take a value of null, which was actually a valid value. And uh, so there was no null safety uh, in the Dart in the original version, but now there is. Uh, so now uh, without null safety, you actually have to um, change your code and one way is just to use this uh, question mark and that way you can actually assign it a null value uh, because the value in this case the value of i could be either an, in, an integer or a null value uh, so we're not going to go into that that's not I'm, going, I'm covering right now uh, but in here I'm I am not transferring null I'm just simply um, providing an empty string and in here I'm actually just providing an empty array. So let's go into the constructor what's in there. Uh, and to go there, simply click on the control and then uh, click on the uh, constructor over there. Uh, that will take you to the constructor. So in here, we actually do not need this guy. I'm not using it. So in the constructor, we have actually modified to take two parameters. One is the authentication token, which we are going to set here. And the second one is the item, which is kind of, you know, the previous list of item that was already in there, which is also uh, up transferred from the uh, authentication model. So um, before doing that, make sure that um, in the fetch and products uh, uh, function, uh, make sure that uh, you should be using the auth token and then you should be providing the auth token value as well. So that's, uh, that's you will need that to make the code work. Now, going back to the, uh, the chain notifier proxy. <coughs> so after we use the create function, we have to provide the update function. And for example, if I remove the update function, uh, in here, you are going to see that it says the name parameter update is required. So you have to use this. And let me just uncomment that. Uh, so in here, it is going to provide you the context, which is the builder context, and then the auth, which is coming from this, the first guy. Uh, and then the previous products is basically, you know, the previous list of products that was already uh, in there. Uh, so I am calling the constructor again. Uh, remember that I'm not creating any other, any new function. I'm just creating the same constructor again, but this time I'm passing the correct values. Uh, in this case, authentication token. Uh, and in here I'm providing um, the list of items. Uh, and I'm using this exclamation mark. Uh, that is because uh, in the previous version of, uh, you know, doc, there was no null safety, but there is now null safety. So you, I have to do that. 
Uh, and uh, I may not even need to do that because, you know, there is no chance of being uh, getting it a null value. But uh, anyways, uh, that this is how, you know, just to make the code work. Uh, and <clears throat> let me show you how the code works now. Uh, so, so when these two are taken care of, you can click on capital R over here, not over here, but over here in the terminal. That will restart the project. The small R will actually do the hard re reload, but the capital R will restart the whole project. So let's uh, click on the username. Let's select username at test.com. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And in here, click the login button. Now, uh, this is just, you know, some debugging code. And now you're seeing that actually I'm not seeing the list. So uh, for me, what I have to do is go to the orders page. Uh, and in here, I have to do drag down to just pull the latest list uh, and if I go into the shop version then I'll be seeing everything over there so so this is kind of a you know a little workaround and just a little bit of change in code from the provider 4 to provider 6 uh, so you need both the methods and then you need to use constructor two times one time is the dummy because we just do not have the parameters at this point, but in the second instance, we do have access to the parameter thanks to this um, parameter. Uh, and that way we can actually set the token. And once the token is set, we can actually uh, access the Firebase and pull the correct data. So hope this helps and uh, hope this, uh, hope you like this video. Thank you.